What's up? All right, Romans 8, 31 through 39. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall, shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I'm convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any power, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. If God is for us, who can be against us? This is one of my favorite lines in the whole Bible just because of the weight behind those words. The almighty creator of the universe is for us and is on our side. Nothing can separate us from God's love. Yes, God is for us, but he is not a puppet master controlling our lives and our world. Instead, we are able to live freely as humans, but because of this, we are going to face challenges. But because of God's love and the fact that he is for us, it allows for us to become, as Paul writes, more than conquerors. A conqueror is someone who is able to overcome their challenge. A more than conqueror is someone who is able to overcome their challenge and grow from it to become a stronger person. God is by our side through all difficulties. So in quick summary, God is for us all the time. Because of this, we are able to overcome and grow from all challenges we may face. Nothing can separate us from God. Next time you're facing a challenge, just stop, think, and remember that God is for you and you are going to be able to overcome and grow from this challenge.